Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can use both VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel to find values in a list. And as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft. All right, well let's go see how we can use VLOOKUP first. So I have a spreadsheet full of data um, and when you typically want to use VLOOKUP when you have a list of data and you're looking for a value within that list. Um, so just to set some context, I have this table here of people's names, they donated money, and then the year that they graduated. And we're going to do donation 2018. Um, and what I want to do is I want to find out how much these individuals donated. And the first name on the list is my name, Kevin. I want to see how much money did I donate to the school. And I know how much money I donated. When I look here at the list, I see that I've donated $985. Let's see if we could use VLOOKUP to find that. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in equals. That's how you always start a formula in Excel. And then I'm going to type in VLOOKUP because that's the, that's the formula that we want to use. Uh, and what it's going to do is let's open up this uh, formula now. And it's asking for a few different items. The first one is the lookup value. Okay. Well, I'm looking for how much I donated. So I'm going to select my name as the first item because that's what I'm looking up. The second thing is it says, what is the table that I'm looking for this value in? Um, one thing you want to be aware of is when I'm, as I, if I look for Kevin in this table, you need to make sure that the value that you're looking for is in the leftmost column. Um, so here I have this name column, which is the leftmost column. So what I could do is for the table, I could either select the table like this. That's one way. But what I prefer to do is just to select the three columns. So I'm going to highlight A, B, and C and just select those columns. The next thing it asks me for is the column index number. Now that's kind of obscure. What does that mean? Well, what that means is what column do I want to get back? If I type in one, that would give me the name back. And I could, um, so that would give me Kevin back, but I'm not looking for Kevin. If I type in column two, that'll give me the donation amount because that's the second column in this table. And if I type in a three, that'll give me the third column, which is the graduation year. But I want the donation amount. So I'm going to type in column two. And then it says range lookup. Well, what it does is it says, do you want an approximate match or an exact match? Well, I'm looking for exactly how much I donated, um, not some other name. So I'm going to type in um, exact match. Uh, so that's going to do a false. And then I'm going to close the formula here and hit enter. There you go. I donated $985. I'm a pretty generous guy. Um, so uh, there's my donation of 985. And uh, what I can do is if I wanted to see my graduation year, I can go in here and I could say, hey, give me column three. Uh, so now I type in a three and then there you go. I graduated in 2006. Um, so a few different ways you could kind of modify the formula based on which column you want back. But I want the donation amount. So I'm going to go in again and type in I want column two back. Um, and now what I could do is I could just copy this formula down. You'll notice that Jennifer and Eric have an NA for their donation. And why is that? Because they weren't generous and Jennifer and Eric didn't donate anything, which is why they don't show up in this list. Um, Matt, he donated $15,000. Well, it turns out we have two Matts. Um, and what VLOOKUP does is as you go through the list, it picks up the first value it hits. So if instead I were to sort this from smallest to largest, you would see that this other Matt now shows up first and VLOOKUP picks up that value first. Um, so that's why I get the 100 now. So just always remember that with VLOOKUP, it goes from top to bottom. And if it finds an exact match, it'll give that back to you. Um, Carrie donated 246. What I want to show with Jennifer, I want to go back to this value here with exact match. Uh, what I could do is I could type in true and it says this is looking for an approximate match. You'll notice in my list, I have Jen, which is an approximate match for Jennifer. So I'm going to hit enter now. Oh, and there you go, Jen. Uh, so we get the, um, let's sort this in ascending order. Um, and so here it hits Jen who donated 600. And so you'll notice now that I get the 600 back here uh, because that's an approximate match. So these, these two names match. Um, and that, that is VLOOKUP. It's very simple to do. It's a good and simple way to find values in a vertical list of data. Now, the next thing I want to look up is HLOOKUP. That's also a good one to know, but instead of looking at a vertical list, you're looking at a horizontal list. Um, so very quickly, if I want to create a horizontal list, I could just copy this data and I'm going to go to paste, paste special and transpose. Transpose will take vertical data and it'll shift it into a horizontal um, orientation. So there's my horizontal table and I'm just going to delete these values here and we're going to copy this table. I'm going to paste it down below and we're also going to transpose this as well. 
Um, so now what I want to do is I want to find out how much I donated using HLOOKUP. So I could type in V equals HLOOKUP and I am looking for my name. So I'm going to type in, I'm going to select Kevin as the lookup value and I'm looking for Kevin in this table. So I'm going to select these three rows and what row do I want to get back for the donation? Well, the donation is in the second row, so I want to get the second, uh, second row uh, to return. And then here I want to do an exact match, so I'm just going to type in false. I typically like doing an exact match just to get the exact value back that I'm looking for. Uh, so I'm going to hit enter now, and here too I got $985. Um, similar to my VLOOKUP, I could also copy the value across. And so now here I get my mat for 100 because that shows up first in the left to right order. So each lookup, instead of looking from top to bottom, it'll look from left to right. Um, and it hit this mat first, which is why I got the 100. And then here, Carrie. And then once again, Jennifer and Eric, come on, you got to donate. Um, and uh, so there it is. That's, that's how you use both vertical lookup or V lookup. And that's how you use H lookup or horizontal lookup. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, content valuable. Hopefully you're a guru now at doing VLOOKUPs and HLOOKUPs. You can tell people how to do them. Let them know how to take, them, take advantage of the magic of Excel. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give the video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see future content like this, more tips and tricks, please hit that subscribe button. And that way you will get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. All right. Well, thanks, thanks a lot and see you next time.